Okay, in this video, we're gonna set up automatic triggering of a follow-up postcard to people who request a home value on our Bull Trail website. We're gonna start inside of a third-party solution that's available through the marketplace. This is thanks.io. Right here, you can see a postcard that's been set up at the top right. It says, see how much a buyer might pay for your house today. QR code gets scanned and they go over to your home valuation page. And then the uh, messaging just says basically, thanks for checking out the value of your address on the site the other day. The idea here with this creative, which isn't so important here to the uh, topic, but just to mention the idea with this creative is that you're going to send this card as a follow up multiple times for a year down here. And thanks that you can see it's set up to go out four times per year, which means quarterly, they'll get this postcard reminding them to check their value again to get the up value now you could send whatever you want a follow-up letter a follow-up note that the content could be whatever you want but just for demo purposes this is where we're starting uh, because for my money this is kind of the simplest thing to do just send them more of what they originally opted in for and do it multiple times with your branding and you will get conversions so this is the thanks.io side of things where you're triggering the direct mail uh, the next detail you're going to need now to set this up is a mailing list that's set up to house and trigger all this and here we have our home valuation requests mailing list which i'm going to open up right here and the thing i want to highlight that's critical to this process is the webhook scenario that is set up inside of thanks that i know down at the bottom left of any mailing list so the steps are create your creative of what you want to go out want to go out once that's ready to go build a campaign rule and then go and grab the webhook url from the dashboard here it's going to say copy kv core specific code to the clipboard we'll update that to say bold trail here uh, soon enough but it'll say copy kv core specific code to the clipboard so now everything you need is built out on the thanks.io side of things to automatically trigger the mail now we're going to tie this into bold trail so that as seller valuations come in they are then pushed over so this logic can take over so now hop trail here we are going to click on marketing and we're going to launch a smart campaign that sends the data over to thanks.io right here. So I'm going to create a new campaign, click add campaign. And I'm going to do that. I do not want to start trigger. We're actually for the time being, we're going to just assign a new contact with an address only to the smart campaign that pushes it over. Now in the future, you might have a hashtag you want this to trigger on. You might want to send it for any lead that's new that has an address, um, but I'm going to keep it simple here and not have a start trigger. We're going to manually trigger it from the contact record as our address only leads come in. So we're only sending this postcard or, or letter campaign to people, homeowners uh, that we want to send it to. So I'm going to continue on through here. We'll say it's a seller campaign. We'll call it home valuation follow-ups, click next, and then finish. Now, once we're in the campaign, we're now going to add an action up at the top, right? And what we're gonna use is the webhook option right here. So I'm gonna click webhook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the URL that I copied from thanks.io and I'm gonna put it here. Now, things get a little tricky and a little geeky at this point. So I'm going to call this template send to thanks.io. Home value list. What we need to do is we need to break out the parameters that are at the end of this URL right here. So I'm going to look for the question mark. And I'm going to take everything to the right of the question mark. And I'm going to cut that out. And maybe for demo sakes, let's open up a notepad here so I can show you what we're left with. Now, each of these things at the end here, these are called parameters. So where it says name equals, that's a parameter. First name is a parameter. Last name is a parameter. Um, the big one that we're concerned with here is the address, which is the lead address right here. And that's what we're mostly going to be focused on merging over. But you can send this other data over to thanks.io. So... I'm going to kind of click over to the right and watch what I do here. I'm going to start with the address because that's the most important thing. So the parameter for address is address, right? I'm going to kind of get this out of the way and I'm going to do query parameter address. And then I'm going to look for the value address on the right side. So you see it says lead address like so. Then I can move through and I can do the other ones if I want them to be 
mergeable in the thanks.io system. So maybe I do first name right there. Then I do last name and I map it over. So you get the point. You're just going to match them one to one right over into the thanks system. If you want the email and the phone number to live over at thanks, you can do that as well, but it's not necessary. This is the bare minimum of what I need. So I'm going to click run immediately. Send address to thanks.io. And then I'm going to save this action. Now, this is a very simple campaign. Of course, you could do this same thing within a larger campaign. It has multiple steps, but for demo purposes today, that's all we needed to do. So next, let's just test this out and make sure it works. So we're going to come back over to our contacts. And here's an address only contact that I did prior to recording today. So you can go to your uh, sell page on your website if you want and get an address only lead or it doesn't have to be an address only but get a lead that has an address that's the important thing and then I'm going to come over to the right side where it says active campaigns and I'm going to add a campaign and that campaign is home valuation follow-ups and then voila we wait a few seconds and we head on over to thanks.io and we can see that the address is now sitting in that mailing list. And again, from that campaign, we will now see our home valuation requests get triggered four times a year to this person. Again, you can do whatever you want on the creative side. You can space out uh, instead of doing the four times a year, you could do days after added. You can send one thing one day. You can send something else four days later. Uh, if you want to send these homeowners a card every January 1st, wishing them a happy new year, you can do all that kind of stuff using a system like thanks.io. And keep in mind, uh, we focused in on thanks.io here as a way to send mail to, uh, to uh, home valuation leads, but you could use any uh, third party platform to do this very thing. Uh, that will accept a webhook or a zap. It was just, uh, we had some requests here uh, to talk about how this works with thanks.io and uh, this is how to do it. So this has been a quick video showing how to follow up on your seller uh, homeowner address leads by uh, triggering direct mail by integrating the bold trail system with thanks.io. Comment down below if you have any questions or any other further ideas related to this topic.